Well, g'day curd nerds. Today we're making yogurt cheese. Now, yogurt cheese is one of the simplest cheeses out there. All you need is some yogurt. And I've got a kilogram here of uh, yogurt, which is about 2.2 pounds. Um, and I'm going to strain this through a cheesecloth anyway, before we get into the details, there's only two ingredients. So there is the yogurt and this salt. Um, very simple, but you can um, decorate it or add flavours to it afterwards. Now, I'll show you the very simple process on how to make this to start with, get the base, and then I'll show you how to add some lovely herbs and spices to, um, to spice it up a little bit. Anyway, so let's make cheese. So first things first, we're going to sanitise the tight weave cheesecloth. Now you can use a clean tea towel if you don't have a cheesecloth, uh, but the uh, cheesecloth does work uh, very well. It's just a very tight weave linen. So I boiled that for about 15 minutes, just in uh, tap water. And I'm using a spatula there just to keep it pushed down. Now we'll be using the spatula later as well. So I'm going to pop the cheesecloth into my colander and tip out all the water and I'm going to keep that pot for later on. So I'm going to spread out the very hot um, cheesecloth now over the colander. This was so much fun. Okie dokie. So that's all done. And we've basically got our one kilogram or 2.2 pounds of Greek yogurt. I'm using Greek yogurt. You could use natural yogurt. That's no problems at all. Greek yogurt tends to be, well anyway in Australia, tends to be a little bit thicker. So I'm just uh, getting all the, the good stuff off the top. And just pour the whole tub into, it's about a two litre Pyrex bowl there. So I get all that out. So this style of yogurt is very rich and creamy. So we're going to add a teaspoon, which is the same as five millilitres of, well, I'm using that cheese salt there, but you could use table salt with this, no problems at all. Wouldn't even matter if it had iodine in it. There we go, got it all out. Now mix that thoroughly through the yogurt. Now the addition of the salt not only helps preserve the cheese later on, but it promotes the extraction of the whey uh, from the, the cheese, the yogurt. Okay, so that's all stirred through. Now we're going to pour it into our uh, cheesecloth lined colander. Now that has had enough time to cool down, the cheesecloth that is. So to scrape all of the goodies out there, all the yogurt and the salt mixture. There we go. So we, I just moved that over the other side of the kitchen. And I'm going to tie up the cheesecloth. I'm going to go corner to corner. Tie a double knot in it, in each corner, and I'm going to hang it on the cupboard to drip. And I've got a piece of wire there, so I'm just looping that piece of wire there so I can pop it over the knob of the cupboard. So that drips now for quite a while. Just making sure that no bits are getting out, squeezing some of the excess water that was in the cheesecloth but that'll drip there that uh, dripped for about 18 hours to get the consistency that I needed so you'll see here that a fair bit of whey uh, dripped out of the yogurt Now I did taste that way and it was extremely sour. Anyway, so we're gonna, 
no pun intended. Anyway, we're going to remove the uh, now uh, cheese. Um, just using the spatula to get any bits that are uh, up the top of the cheese bag. Of the uh, cheese bag, the uh, tight weave cheesecloth. Just scraping that into the middle. And then basically I'm just rolling the cheese out into the bowl. There we go. So just a nice little close-in shot here. You can see that's about as much cheese. So that's about uh, 700 grams of cheese. And there's about maybe 400 millilitres there. Um, and about a cup and a half in the old measurement of whey compared to the cheese itself. So how to eat it? Well, here's a great little recipe I found on the interwebs. Um, basically, just throw a big lump of the uh, labna or a yogurt cheese onto a plate and I'm going to spread that all flat this was difficult to do mind you but anyway on camera it was difficult to do yeah anyway, I spread all that out managing to get my thumb in the yogurt cheese at the same time but there's another big lump it was quite thick a lot thicker than what the yogurt was to start with that's for sure so just uh, spreading that one even layer over the plate. I thought this bit would be easy. <laughs> okay, now we're done. Right, so I'm going to get some, uh, I've got some lemon, influ lemon infused uh, Australian olive oil. This is a uh, extra virgin olive oil that has a lemon flavour. And I'm just going to drizzle that over the top of the cheese that I've smeared onto the plate. I think that was enough of a drizzle. And then I'm going to get the next ingredient, some ducker or duca, however you want to say it, and just sprinkle that over the top. There we go, that's enough, I think. Right, a bit more. That's enough. Right, and then I'm going to crack some sea salt over the top. Just a light uh, sprinkling of sea salt. Not much comes out of that grinder, so it was basically a pinch. And let's see how it tasted. Well, there you have it, curd nerds. There's my yogurt cheese. I've still got some left, and I've made this lovely um, platter. Um, so this is uh, labna or the yogurt cheese, and I spread that out over the plate, as you saw. Drizzled some lemon-infused olive oil over the top, extra virgin olive oil. And I sprinkled a little bit of uh, duca or ducca, depends on how you want to say it. And I'm going to eat it with some, um, some flat bread. Um, I've also got some lovely um, olives that are grown here in Australia and some uh, cheese filled, cream cheese filled uh, peppers because Kim doesn't like olives. Anyway, let me just have a try of this and see what it tastes like. Proof's always in the pudding, isn't it? Mm. Excuse me, but that is amazing. The zestiness of the yogurt cheese, the lemon in lemonness, the lemoniness of the um, the lemon infused olive oil, and the the nuttiest nuttiness and a little bit of spice and herbs of the the duca. Absolutely delicious. I tell you what, this is. A platter fit for a party, that's for sure. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I'm so glad I took the time to make this special, very simple cheese. Just from a simple pot of yogurt. And um, it's come up a treat, really has. Now I kept that in the fridge for 24 hours, but it's certainly smooth enough to spread as you saw. Um, I just did with the back of a spoon onto the plate and uh, yeah this is absolutely delicious cheese 
So if you'd like to make this cheese, then we've actually got a kit, a soft cheese kit that you've got all the utensils, all the equipment to make. Uh, not only this cheese, but many, many different varieties of soft cheese. Also check out my Patreon page. You can uh, become a patron of the channel for as little as $1 US. Uh, every little bit goes to keeping the roof over our heads. I've also got a lovely podcast, Little Green Cheese Podcast, and the link is in the description below. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.